Fanboy! 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 What is up guys? Welcome back to another e episode of Fanboy Reviews and today we are going to take a look at Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. Yes, Skyrim, Skyrim, Skyrim. The RPG video game that came out just last year of 2011. And today at Fanboy Reviews, we are going to review this video game right now. Alright. So, first of all, this game is an action RPG open world video game developed by Bethesda Game Studios and published by Bethesda Softworks. Basically, it's the fifth game following The Elder Scrolls Oblivion. And, well, playing this game, there's a lot of problems with it. I mean, initially, once you pop it in, um, you pop the disc in, and you insert it in your game console, whether it's the PS3, the 360, or even the PC, which is clearly the most inferior version. Um, it's really just the worst um, game I've ever played. Um, it's incredibly slow. Uh, it's very tedious. And, you know, ten minutes into this game, you, you easily know that this game is one of the worst games of all time. Um, first of all, RPGs suck. Um, role-playing games are really, really terrible. Uh, they have, like, r little replay value. They have, oftentimes, really slow plotting gameplay. Um, you don't really get too far in this game, uh, without feeling like you're, you've spent, uh, 30 hours wasting away, um, not doing anything. And you're trying to explore this, uh, supposedly large world, but it's just filled with all these crappy characters in this crappy kind of environment. The graphics are really terrible too because you can't really see much. Um, the character models are really outdated. Like if you played uh, Oblivion, which is an even like worse game, you know that game was really bad. Um, it was it was it had a lot of bugs and glitches. Um, it was really buggy, and especially like the PS3 version. Um, the 360 version wasn't perfect. It it froze a lot too. Um, the PC version was just unplayable. Um, even at the highest settings, um, Oblivion was so bad. But Skyrim it just follows along with that same tradition. You know, it's amazing. Like, it, it, it took them five years to release uh, Skyrim um, because Oblivion came out in 06 and Skyrim is just just as bad. Um, there's a lot of glitches. Um, there's a lot of like... They, they needed to update this game a lot. And the problem was that you know, not everybody has online. Um, not everybody has access to the update DLC. Um, I mean, it's just, it's easily one of the worst games ever because the developers are really bad at this type of games too. Um, Bethesda, um, Game Studios. Um, Bethesda, they've only been around for a few years, but they, they're really one of the most, like, terrible uh, developers ever because somehow, I don't get it, I don't understand why um, some people say these games are good because it's really kind of sad. Um, they have they don't have a lot of game uh, elements that make it fun. Um, you get to create your own character, but uh, like every game can do that. You know, uh, Saints Row can do that. Um, the wrestling games you can you can create your character pretty much in every game now, so it's not even a big deal. It's not and it's not even deep. Like they don't have a deep uh, create. A character mode it's not even you don't even get a lot of choices it's very limited it feels like you can only select from like four different types of characters or races um, like this is just the, the combat system is bad too uh, it's just horrible combat system very slow uh, very sluggish I mean let me ask you guys a question right now who wants to be but a dungeon crawling and killing rats. Is that fun? Is that fun for anybody? I mean, who who's excited about that kind of game? Where you're sitting in a basement and you're killing rats in somebody's, in some some ancient guy's house and you're in, in his basement and you're stomping on rats. There's nothing fun about that. That's absolutely tedious. It's, it's boring. It's, it's not my definition of gaming. That's not the kind of games we should be getting in 2012. What's the point of killing and stomping out rats? 
shooting at them, whatever. It's it's pretty sad. If that's the best that Bethesda can come up with, and if that's what you consider quality games today, uh, then it's really pathetic. I mean, you, you know, this is like easily one of the worst role playing. And you know, I made that video called, um, you know, I was talking about the Wii U, and I talked about how RPGs sucked. Well, this is the main reason why. This is why uh, role playing games are terrible because of crappy games like Skyrim and Oblivion and all these crummy, terrible, unoriginal, uninspired games. These hack, hacky games, you know. It's like the same things over and over again. It's nothing original. Um, the graphics are really glitchy. There's a lot of screen tearing I also found in Skyrim. Like even at the highest settings, I was playing it on the on the PC, uh, you, you know, and it's just I I thought that it would improve the graphics, but it was so much screen tearing that I had to like completely like I had to stop playing it. And I tried the PS3 version. There were so many bugs; it kept freezing. The 360 version was a little bit, a little bit, uh, not as bad because um, the online was a little bit better. But I mean, it's it's just one of the worst games of all time. I mean, the characters suck. the The boss fights are just boring. Leveling up is incredibly boring. The dragon language is the, the stupidest thing I've ever heard. I mean, it's just basically fake Japanese. Um, I think even the the original, the early Skyrim or the early Elder Scrolls games are better because uh, at least those games are you, you know they're they have better graphics, you know they had better music. Let's talk. Oh, let's talk about the music too. The music for Skyrim is easily the worst soundtrack of all time. I mean, there's way better games out there with better soundtrack. This sounds like your typical crappy uh, fantasy style, you know, Lord of the Rings wannabe ripoff style of music. Um, it doesn't have that crazy hard rock music that I like. You know, that metal music is the best. It's, it's the best for any kind of games. I mean, all you have to do is just look up, like, fan polls and, you know, which games had the best rocking music. And like, um, usually like 9.5 times out of 10, the best soundtrack tends to be like the hard rock, hardcore, heavy metal stuff. You know, that the rocking style of music is the best. Um, I don't understand. I don't know what Bethesda was thinking with this kind of soundtrack. It's really the worst. It's, it sounds awful. Every time I pop it in the disc and I start playing, I hear that awfully like, that awful, uh, like you know that crappy maritime uh, middle ages style of music like this game should be in freaking Robin Hood or something it's just it's so horrible that I want to just always play the game mute um, which uh, believe me I don't get too far with this game when I try to play it because the gameplay is so broken that you know I just I stop playing I don't understand why these slow paced crappy wannabe simulation type of games are so like they, they're popular which I you, you know I don't understand why people have to lie about this game you know like uh, you know just kind of accept that this game is really terrible um I think that you know a lot of fans have really low standards now because of games like this you know I mean let's look at the scores let, let, okay let's look at the reception the um the, the the amount of ratings and reviews that this game got game rankings Xbox 360 got 95 percent the PC got 94 percent and the PS3 got an 88 percent I cannot believe that this game got over over six this Skyrim deserves no more than I would say like a 5.2 because it's got so many flaws Metacritic they're no different 96 Xbox 360 94 PC 92 PS3 this is just who's writing these reviews these people have to be on drugs okay look at this official PlayStation magazine from the UK they gave Skyrim a 7 out of 10 I'm gonna say that again a 7 out of 10 that's pretty pretty good okay that's at least that's a little bit realistic compared to these others really terrible like 
review scores. Wire, joystick, even Famitsu gave this game a 40 out of 40, which is just... Who's, who believes Famitsu anyway? Famitsu is the most biased, most corrupt video gaming uh, reviewers out there. I mean, I, I can... They probably would give, like, Superman 64 a perfect 40 if they were paid enough. And that, that's another thing that Bethesda does. You guys have to understand that Bethesda is a video game de developer that's back, backed up by a lot of money. It's a big company. It's a, it would be considered a major label. Um, so it would be the equivalent of, like, you know, Sony or Interscope. If it was, like, the music industry, it's a really big major you know billion dollar company um, Bethesda is a huge huge you know influential company so of course they're gonna pay off a lot of these uh, video game reviewers um, you know IGN uh, Edge magazine you know all those video game reviewers they're gonna pay them they're gonna give them money so that they, they would give them high reviews you know that's how it works I pay you you know a lot of money let's say I give you a hundred thousand dollars you give my game a perfect uh, 10 out of 10. So then, that would in turn, when people read my rev uh, when people re read your review, you gave it a 10 out of 10. People will then want to buy and spend money on um, on the video game. And when they buy it for full price, 60 dollars, you know the amount of money you've wasted. People wasted 60 dollars. Let's say you know 200 people end up buying it because of that review that's 200 times 60 dollars you just made back a hundred and twenty thousand dollars so when I gave you a hundred thousand dollars to give it a perfect score I, I just made twenty thousand dollars profit right there and you can imagine you know if 500 people you know bought the game for 60 bucks because of the review a thousand people and so on and so forth that's how the reviewing industry works um, you just have to be realistic and you look at other games like Fallout and Fallout New Vegas these games these RPG style games are absolute crap they're terrible they're boring and they're easily like there's nothing amazing about them. I mean, if you want to, if you want to play a really good RPG, I mean, just play Pokemon. You know, I mean, granted, Pokemon's really old. It's from the '90s. Uh, it's outdated. Um, but it's still kind of fun. I mean, you could raise the little characters. You could make them evolve. Pokemon is a lot more simple. It's more fun. It's it's better. Uh, it's uh, more replay value, so it's better to play over and over again. Um, the music is better, and you can trade the little Pokemon creatures and stuff like that. So Pokemon's way better than Skyrim. Um, even Super Mario RPG is better than Skyrim, and that was from like 1990 1997. So I mean, it, it really pathetic. I mean, you guys have to look up your this kind of information. You can't just buy into the hype. You have to look it up on Google. Um, you have to look it up online. You know, go do actual re research um, and talk to people who actually play this game. But undoubtedly, the number one thing that I can't stand about Skyrim, the stupid, stupid video game, is this. I was once a warrior, but then I took an arrow to the knee. This is the stupidest, most worthless, most retarded internet meme of all time. This is so dumb. This phrase, this quote that everybody, every idiot, retard, fanboy, loser seems to quote from Skyrim. It's so dumb that everybody has to say it. Everybody has overdone it. It's so cliche, repetitive, redundant, unoriginal hacky just just stupid as shit I mean any moron who says this or types it and says anything to do with I took an arrow to the knee is a complete fucking idiot you took an arrow to the knee how about I punched you and then you took an arrow to the knee how about you said an idiotic fucking 
video game based quote and then you took an arrow to the knee how about you bought skyrim for 59.99 like a n fucking moron and then you took an arrow to the knee skyrim sucks balls because not only does it take an arrow to the knee i want to fucking put my knee in its face okay skyrim and rpgs are absolutely terrible they're garbage, they suck. Stop wasting money on these things. Alright, so that's it for this episode of Vanboy Reviews. And until next time, keep fanboying. Yeah! Subscribe, stupid. Subscribe, stupid. Subscribe, stupid. Subscribe, stupid.